Good morning. As you start your day, maybe with a cup of coffee in hand and sunlight streaming through your window, you might be wondering what the coming months have in store. Weather is something we all talk about, but predicting it, especially for an entire season ahead, can feel like trying to solve a mystery. It's August 25, 2025, and we're standing at the threshold of a new season, looking ahead to the arrival of fall. The days are already getting a little shorter, and there's a hint of change in the air. Many of us are already dreaming of crisp air, vibrant autumn colors, and cozy evenings spent indoors. But the big question on everyone's mind is, what kind of weather will this fall bring? Will it be mild and golden, or will we see early chills and storms? While it's impossible to provide a detailed day-by-day -day forecast months in advance, meteorologists aren't just guessing. Instead, they use a combination of science, technology, and experience to make educated predictions. Think of us as weather detectives. We gather clues from the recent past, like the patterns we saw in spring and summer, and use them to piece together a picture of what's likely to come. Every season leaves behind hints that help us anticipate the next. The weather of one season sets the stage for the next. For example, a wet spring can lead to lush summer growth, while a hot, dry summer might hint at drought conditions in the fall. Each transition is like a chapter in a story, with one season influencing the next. By carefully analyzing trends from spring and summer 2025, meteorologists can connect the dots and start to anticipate which weather patterns will dominate as we move into autumn. This process involves looking at a wide range of data and searching for patterns that repeat year after year. We examine temperature and precipitation trends, monitor the state of the Pacific Ocean, especially phenomena like El Nino or La Nina, and track how these global factors might influence our local weather. The position and strength of the jet stream is another crucial clue. This fast-moving ribbon of air high above the Earth can steer storms, bring in cold snaps, or keep certain regions dry, depending on its path. All these elements work together like pieces of a giant puzzle. By studying how they fit, meteorologists can forecast the bigger picture, even if some details remain uncertain. It's a blend of art and science requiring both data and intuition. In the next sections we'll break down the most important takeaways from spring and summer, then connect those trends to specific regions across the U.S. Each area faces its own unique set of challenges and surprises as the seasons change. We'll take a closer look at drought conditions in the Southwest, where water shortages and dry landscapes are a growing concern. We'll also talk about the possibility of early snow in the Northeast, which could mean a jumpstart to winter for some communities and we'll discuss the risk of severe storms in the heartland, where changing temperatures can spark dramatic weather events. Our goal is simple, to give you the best guidance possible, so you and your family can be ready for whatever autumn brings, whether it's sunshine, rain, or an early frost. So, let's dive into the clues and evidence that are shaping the forecast for fall 2025. By understanding the signs, you'll be better prepared to enjoy the season and handle any surprises that come your way. That's the story unfolding across the country. Here's what you need to know as we head into another season of change. Our fall forecast journey actually begins much earlier than you might expect, back in the heart of spring, when the first hints of seasonal change start to emerge. It's during these months that we get our earliest clues about what the rest of the year might hold. This year, warmth was the headline story across much of the country parks and neighborhoods filled with people eager to soak up the sun as thermometers climbed higher than usual for the season. From the lush forests of the Pacific Northwest to the bustling cities along the East Coast, most regions experienced above-average temperatures. Animated weather maps lit up with shades of orange and red, painting a vivid picture of just how widespread the warmth was. This early surge of warmth had a domino effect. Snowpacks in northern states melted away rapidly, sending streams rushing and filling rivers earlier than usual. Farmers took advantage, planting crops ahead of schedule and giving the growing season a significant head start. A persistent high-pressure system dominated the weather pattern, acting like a protective shield that kept cold air masses at bay. This setup made it difficult for any late-season chills to break through, stacking the deck for continued warmth. Of course, not every region followed the same script. Central California and Southern Florida bucked the trend, staying noticeably cooler. These areas were influenced by unique local weather patterns, such as coastal breezes and ocean currents, which kept temperatures in check. 
These regional exceptions serve as a reminder that the United States is a land of diverse climates. While most of the nation basked in warmth, some pockets experienced a very different spring, highlighting the complexity of our weather systems. The main takeaway? Widespread spring warmth created a significant thermal surplus across the country. This extra energy in the ground and atmosphere set the stage for dynamic and sometimes unpredictable summer weather. For meteorologists, this warmth is our first big clue about what's to come. By analyzing these early patterns, we can better anticipate the trends that will shape the months ahead. The land and air were primed for a warm, active summer, conditions that would echo well into the fall, influencing everything from agriculture to energy use. So, let's take a closer look at how summer built on this unusual spring setup and what it means for the season ahead. Summer 2025 unfolded as a season of remarkable contrasts, with weather patterns shifting dramatically from coast to coast. Across the United States, no two regions experienced the same story, and the atmosphere seemed to be in constant motion, painting a vivid picture of nature's unpredictability. In the east, residents grew accustomed to frequent showers and powerful thunderstorms. Warm, moisture-laden air surged northward from the Gulf of Mexico, colliding with cooler, drier air descending from Canada. This ongoing clash fueled a steady parade of rainstorms, keeping skies gray and the air thick with humidity. The result was a summer of above-average rainfall and persistent dampness for the Ohio Valley, Southeast and Mid-Atlantic. Lawns stayed green, reservoirs filled, and drought conditions eased. But for families hoping for sunny weekends or outdoor events, the weather often forced a change of plans as umbrellas became a daily necessity. Meanwhile, a very different story played out in the Southwest, Northern Plains and Pacific Northwest. These regions endured relentless dryness with parched landscapes and little relief from ongoing drought. Rivers ran low, and farmers watched their fields anxiously, hoping for rain that rarely came. The summer monsoon, which sometimes brings much-needed moisture to the West, was notably weak this year. As a result, wildfire risk climbed steadily, with hazy skies and smoke becoming a familiar sight in many communities. This sharp east-west divide in precipitation is a classic pattern, but this year it was especially pronounced. The boundary between wet and dry set the stage for dramatic weather contrasts, and it's a key factor as we look ahead to the coming fall. The east's lingering moisture could fuel early autumn storms, increasing the risk of flooding in some areas. Meanwhile, the west's persistent dryness means fire danger remains high and communities must stay vigilant as the season changes. Summer didn't erase the warmth left over from spring, but it did distribute moisture in a patchwork fashion. Some fields thrived while others struggled, highlighting just how uneven the season's impact was across the country. Understanding these shifting patterns is critical for our fall outlook. Meteorologists are closely watching how these trends might influence the months ahead, from crop yields to wildfire preparedness. Now, let's connect these national trends to specific regions and see what they could mean for your local weather in the coming season. In the Southwest, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and Southern California, fall looks hot and dry. The weak monsoon left soils parched and high pressure will keep storms away. Expect above average temperatures and little rain, worsening drought and stressing water resources. The biggest risk wildfires, Dry vegetation and gusty winds like the Santa Anas create dangerous fire conditions. Residents must stay vigilant, follow fire restrictions, and have evacuation plans ready. Relief from rain is unlikely this season. The evidence points to a challenging autumn defined by drought and wildfire threat. Prepare now for a tough season ahead. In the Northeast, fall 2025 starts mild and pleasant, with lingering summer warmth and sunny days. Occasional rain will keep landscapes green but late October brings a shift. Expect early cold snaps as chilly Canadian air moves in, making the transition to winter abrupt. First frosts and even some early snowflakes, especially in upstate New York and New England, are possible. Skiers may welcome an early season but commuters should prep for winter sooner than usual. The story, a gentle, colorful start, then a sharp, cold turn. Enjoy the early fall but be ready for winter's early arrival. The Northeast autumn may end with a chilly exclamation point, stay prepared for surprises. The central U.S., from the Great Plains to the Tennessee Valley, faces an active, severe weather season. 
hot, dry western air will clash with warm, moist air from the east, creating instability. The jet stream will energize storms, especially in September and October. Expect increased risks for hail, damaging winds and tornadoes, not just in Tornado Alley, but eastward into the Tennessee and Ohio valleys. Fast-moving storms and shorter daylight hours make fall severe weather especially dangerous. Don't let your guard down, autumn can be as stormy as spring. Have a safety plan and multiple ways to get alerts. The clash of seasons will be dramatic. Stay weather aware. Preparation is key to staying safe. Florida's fall will feel like two seasons in one. Early autumn stays warm, humid, and stormy, with hurricane threats peaking. Residents should keep hurricane kits ready and stay alert for tropical systems. By late October, a hot dry air mass takes over, ending the rainy season abruptly. Afternoon storms fade, and drought risk rises, especially inland. Brush fire danger increases as the landscape dries out. For Floridians, prepare for storms early, then brace for a hot dry finish. Fall 2025 is a tale of two chapters for the Sunshine State. To understand these regional patterns, we need to talk about La Nina. La Nina is a climate pattern with cooler Pacific waters, influencing weather worldwide. Though it's weakening, its effects linger, like a spinning top that keeps going after you stop pushing. La Nina's signature drier, warmer conditions in the southern U.S., matching our southwest and Florida forecasts, it also fuels a more active storm track in the north, explaining early cold in the northeast and severe weather in the plains. While not the only factor, La Nina's fading influence is driving this fall's dynamic transitional weather. As the atmosphere adjusts, we see regional battles between air masses. The ghost of La Nina still shapes our weather. We've covered the clues and what they mean for each region this fall. Remember, long-range forecasts show trends, not day-by-day -day details. Stay weather aware, check for updates regularly, and follow your local meteorologists. Prepare for your region's risks. Fire in the southwest, storms in the plains, early cold in the northeast, and hurricanes in Florida. A little preparation now makes a big difference when weather strikes. Respect the power of nature, but enjoy autumn's beauty. Stay connected with weather experts and keep an eye on the sky. That's the best way to ensure a safe, enjoyable fall 2025. Thanks for joining us for this seasonal outlook. We'll be right back after this.